so if they are bottlenecks in your operation then identifying these bottlenecks becomes essential because it leads to the loss in revenue increased waiting time between different operations loss in the customers and finally the poor quality of product will be produced so identifying them and fixing them becomes utmost important in this video with the help of animated examples we have again explained this concept of bottleneck and what is this bottleneck analysis and how to remove this bottleneck from your operations so without wasting any further time let's start our today video on bottleneck analysis so in this video we will be covering what is bottleneck we will first understand this concept and then we will understand what is bottleneck analysis how to deal with this bottleneck what are different types of bottleneck whether the short term or a long term bottleneck and some typical benefits of bottleneck analysis so if you are watching this video for the first time on my youtube channel then please make sure that you hit that subscribe button and please press that bell icon so that you are notified whenever i post a new video on my youtube channel so in this channel i post videos related to six sigma lean manufacturing project management and business management what is this bottleneck analysis so before we jump to this let us first understand this concept of bottleneck so bottleneck is that that particular area in a production line which restricts the smooth flow of production bottleneck in a production work the same way as a physical bottle so in this example we can see as, a, as the ball reaches the neck of the bottle they slow down and can go only one at a time because all have to get through the bottle at a slower rate and the rate of flow is hampered at the bottleneck which is the point where the narrow neck reduces the rate at which the output is reduced it occurs when the number of assigned task which must be completed exceeds the maximum production capacity resulting in delaying the subsequent steps in the workflow so bottleneck basically leads to loss in the revenue your increase waiting time between different operations the poor quality of product will be produced and finally there will be the loss in the customers let us take one manufacturing example here so in this example machine a has a capacity of 20 pieces per hour and machine b has a capacity of 5 pieces per hour and for machine c it has 20 pieces per hour now in this case the machine a can process more parts but machine b is not efficient enough to produce that much part that is why machine b is a bottleneck here so there are two types of bottleneck short term bottleneck and long term bottleneck the short term bottleneck are basically caused by temporary problems it will only remain for shorter period of time it could be the operator is missing for certain period of time resulting in the lot of pile up of work or delay in receiving materials from another vendor or it could be the obstruction in your supply chain or limited staff due to some festival holidays long term bottleneck are which are reoccurring it remains for long time it affects your production line your capacity by huge margin and they may also result in the loss in the revenue thus that is why they are considered as a major bottleneck it could be because of the lack of appropriate technologies limited funds and resources unorganized workforce less trained workers lean manufacturing techniques which are not applied so now that you have uh, understood this concept of bottleneck let us understand what is this bottleneck analysis so bottleneck analysis is a process of identifying a bottleneck where the actual problem is occurring and the work that we need to complete a particular task is taking longer than the expected time so instead of finding the symptoms let us try to find the root cause and understand where the actual bottleneck is occurring 
after completing all this process you have identified the bottleneck now we can look for some potential solutions some common uh, bottleneck analysis tools that we can use include are 5y root cause analysis where you ask the question five times to come to the root cause another tool can be the fish bone diagram which is nothing but a visual method to show the root cause analysis where you identify your major causes and the minor causes another tool could be the theory of constraint which is a methodology for identifying the most important factors or a constraint which stand in the way of achieving a particular goal and then you can remove those constraints from the system but these are the some tools but what are the main two causes of this potassium bottleneck so one is your poor line balancing that means some jobs are taking longer time than expected or are running slower as a result there is a huge pile up of material and then we have the inadequate process controls that means the equipment does not run as it was designed to run now how do you deal with this potential bottlenecks one is your increase addition capacity so if bottleneck is because of there is a huge pile up of work then you can increase your workforce here adding again additional workforce will eliminate the bottleneck problem then we have to eliminate the non value added steps here so there are some steps which will not add any value but will only add waste to the end product so we have to find those steps eliminate waste because because of this they may be causing some bottlenecks add additional workforce so additional workforce or additional capacity means the same thing but here we are talking about increasing the workforce and first step was about addition adding additional capacity machines to solve this bottleneck and finally we have the balanced production line it is often possible that your production line is not balanced that means some uh, workstations are more overloaded and some are less overloaded so you, you need to balance your production line accordingly so before we look at the benefits uh, if you like this video please share this video with all your friends and colleague and if you have any specific question or comment you can leave your questions in the comment section below so the first benefit that we have it it helps in eliminating the waste so bottleneck are often caused by unnecessary or inefficient processes which result in a wide variety of waste so if you identify what is your bottleneck and you remove it through your analysis you help in eliminating your waste it streamline your processes so once you know that your process uh, you have removed all your uh, waste you can streamline your process it helps in reducing your inventory minimize the poor quality of products it reduces your downtime and increases the overall production capacity which ultimately leads into the shorter lead time so if you are still watching my video please make sure you hit that subscribe button and do press that bell icon you can also watch my other videos here and don't forget to hit that like button as well